Hey guys, so welcome back to another episode of the Shivering Isles. So in the last episode, we were sent out by Sheogorath to help in rebuilding the Gatekeeper to protect it from the Order, or to protect, like, the actual, like, new Shea Shivering Isles from the Order. Because who cares about the Fringe, right? And to do so, we had to gather a bunch of, like, essence of breath and blood, like, I don't know how to say the word still. A bunch of stuff. And now we have to choose out what? body parts to give the gatekeeper. So I guess let's just go ahead and get back into it. Like I said, I think in the first episode of this recording session, so like a couple episodes ago, I am recovering from a cold right now. And uh, honestly, I probably recorded a little bit too soon because, uh, oh, I'm feeling it, but I'm just having so much fun. I don't want to stop. Who needs time to heal? Am I right? So it looks like we have all the pieces here. Let's just get out our lovely torch so we can take a better look at them. Just what we want to do. Okay. Well, already I'm giving him the helmet power because I don't want to see that face. That truly is a face that only a mother could love. And then we have heart of wound sharing and heart of spell turning. Okay. Well, it does seem like most of the, the order members, like there are some priests, but most of them are like knights. So we'll do wound sharing. Breast of life and breast of magic. Once again, I guess life, I don't, I don't really know here. Slashing, bashing, slashing is always the answer. Oh, and there was also chopping, but you know. Like, Corellian started off as an axe guy, but here we are uh, using Dawnfang, Duskfang. <laughs> because what else am I supposed to do? It's like my favorite sword. Arm of frost shielding, arm of shock shielding, arm of fire shielding. I think they use shock, so. And legs of fortitude and legs of nimbleness. I guess fortitude? Sure, let's return to Relmina. I don't know if it actually matters what we went with there, but I tried my best. Is she torturing more people down here? I thought I heard some screaming. Uh, yes, she uh, is. No, no, no. Back to business. You've made your selection. Yeah. Now we travel to the statue of our lord in the fringe. There we will perform the ceremony. Make haste. Awesome. Okay, I guess I'll meet you there. Please. Hey, I saved you for now. Though I do wonder what that does. Oh. Well, all right. Twasn't I. Uh, moving along then. I've once again chosen a very dark night. Uh, I should probably wait. Because we are already at the statue. We are already at the statue of Sheogorath, so. I want to actually see the ritual. So we'll go ahead. I, I feel bad because we're getting rid of Duskfang after I just charged it up, but it's okay. I want to see this here ritual. Though it's still Shall very gross lighting. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. First, place the gatekeeper's body into the cistern of substantiation. I know what that is. Sure. Oh! I guess that's it. Oh, geez. That's, that's kind of vibey, though. I like the space aesthetic there. Okay. I have placed him in the big soup. What next? At the beginning of the worlds were five. Fire. Sorry. Water. Earth. Air. Ooh. And light. Dark darkness turned into day. The I'm sorry. I keep interrupting it. <laughs> it just had the thing there still. Hidden away by virtue of its own self-awareness was the sixth, containing within it the five which birthed it. Flesh! Meat with the desire to consume like fire. Gross. Place the dermis membrane into the cistern. Okay, into the soup. Blood. Liquid nutrient. That ocean Come back which sometimes. casts pearls of life upon the shores of existence. In two spoons. Place Ooh. the blood liqueur into the system. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. You made everything purple and like I'm into it. Okay, add that Bone, in. Gross. Branch and stone of the body, giving shape and structure. Place the osseous marrow. Okay, okay. I, I've done it. I've done it. Breath. Child of air. Bestowing movement. The stirring of spirit. 
replace the essence of breath. Think, I think I've got it now. I think I've, you don't have to tell me. And last, the light of flesh, the illumination of soul, perception, thought, memory, imagination. I summon thee, walker in flesh, flesh of true flesh. From those flesh of true of flesh which sire thy kind come to this altar join with this body quintessence of flesh joined with the essence of flesh a lot of flesh absolute immortal immortal bound to contingent stand clear of the system I'm, I'm already I'm already by you I'll hide behind you there we go. Is that a good enough? Honor okay, there we go. Hedra, Flesh Atronach is unconscious. Thanks basement. for telling me. Thou shalt be the holy in this temple. I bind the Atronach to this body. Henceforth, okay, we're good. Gatekeeper of the Shivering Isles. My child. Beautiful. It is time to fulfill your destiny. Stand guard in this land against all those who seek entry, not bearing the mark of Sheagor's favor. They shall be broken by the coldness in their minds, the darkness of spirit. What's this? My child, they're coming. Destroy them. Show Aren't them they? your true power. How, how do you know? Gatekeeper has been rebuilt. I should return to Sheagor's with news of my success. Or run to Sheagor's. Either way, tell him of our doings here. Send him my tribute. I want to see the interlopers. Where are they at? Oh, he's ready. But, oh, oh, here they come. Oh, he's running for him. Get him. Yeah, they do have one mage with him, but he's just trying to punch him. So, you know, he's probably fine. Oh. Well, I guess we'll let him handle that. Seems everything was successful. <laughs> okay. Let's head back then. We also need to find a bed so that we can level up. Surely, we're the Duke now. Surely we have a quarters, right? Somewhere we can sleep. I'm gonna go look before we go back to Shagorath. Okay, so like maybe it's the conservatory, maybe off of it. Eh? Welcome Somewhere? To Duke's quarters, there we go. I should hope that we have a bed somewhere. That's right, I snuck through here that one time. Great, great times. Is this my bed? I really don't know. Can I sleep here? I can. That's all that matters to me. My bed now. All right, you have ascended to level 18. With the life, or with the life you've been living, the punishment your body has taken, there are limits. And maybe you've reached them. Is this what it's like to grow old? I forgot, it's getting depressing like it does in Morrowind. I'm an elf, like, come on. So I guess more strength is probably always good. More agility is probably good too. I mean, I know I shouldn't do agility and speed. That isn't Corellian's build, but however, uh, I guess we don't really need agility, but it's the biggest boost. So we're just gonna go ahead and get it. I like agility and speed and making Corellian a heavy armor sort of guy was a mistake. And why he's often the forgotten elf boy, at least to me. Poor fellow. All right, back to Shea Gorath, who is doing a fun balancing trick. Very good. Hello, gatekeeper. Excellent. We might be on to something with you after all. That should keep out the stragglers. Yep, yep. And the sea, you've learned how to summon flesh Atronox. Relmina must like you, little duke. I guess- but Probably I not in that way. What? <laughs> I guess I didn't even notice that we could do that. Oh, cutscene. Mmm. Yep. Hi. Lord Sheagora. Okay, push I me out of the way, then. for the intrusion, but you must help us. Order has attacked Pinnacle Rock and routed us. Uh oh. Well, well. What a turn of events this is. It's new, and I like new, even if it's bad. And this is bad, isn't it? Uh, Sounds kind of bad. This is a particularly exciting turn of events, 
Is it not? A perfect job for you, my newest and only noble in the realm. That's me. If order has entered my army stronghold, things have taken a disturbing turn. It means order has tried subterfuge, not its strong suit. <laughs> Amazing! Perhaps things aren't going as poorly as I'd imagined. You'll want to get all the details from the messenger. Unless you already have. You uh, haven't, I mean, have you? I don't think so. <laughs> Why hasn't Jigalag attacked himself? <clears throat> oh, God. Well, aren't you precious? Do you really not know? Haven't you noodled it all through yet? I mean, I have, but Corellian... Because he is me! <laughs> I'm him! Yep. We're a bit of each other, really. I, I won't be here when he arrives because... I'll be him. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Happens every time. The Grey March starts, order appears, and I become Jigalag and wipe out my whole realm. Must hate it when that happens. Can we stop it? Stop it? Oh no, can't do it. Believe me, I've tried. It never ends well. Okay. But you're still going to stop the Grey March. Stop Jigalag. Me? From destroying my realm! I'll do my best. <laughs> when will it happen? Soon. Too soon! I can already feel the change beginning. I feel like I'm not quite here. I'm not over there yet, but I'm not quite here! E all right, all right. And I've been having moments of clarity that are quite unlike me. That's not good. Like now. Ooh. What do we do now? Now? Nothing has changed. You deal with this messenger. Yeah. Make sure my army is secure. You'll need them. Well, uh, I guess we need to talk uh, to come you. Visit again. Your grace, there is trouble. I, I got that. What can I do? Our stronghold at Pinnacle Rock is under attack. I already gathered that. <laughs> the forces of order broke in and routed us. You must go to Adeo at once okay. and aid her. There's new information. Well, I guess that's what we're doing. Please, your grace. God, you sound horrible. I do not want to talk to you anymore. You're making my throat hurt worse just listening to you. All right, where's that? Ah, at the tip of the boot. Perfect. Got a little bit of walking to do. And unfortunately, we don't have lady. We have no mount. Don't see me, weird lizard man. Oh, duskbang time. Excellent. Hopefully, we can get there before it gets too dark. What? What is this guy running around? Because I do like Duskfang, and I would like to use it. There is drama happening over here with a man and a tree man. Oh, it's an order guy. Well, I guess I have to fight both of you then. I was hoping one of you would be on my side for once. But I'll just wipe them all out. I've been on a tattoo kick lately, where I just have so many ideas that I want to get, but uh, tattoos are expensive. And it's like, I feel like I just want to cover my body in swords. Like, I already want to get Hope's Fire here. And I'm thinking True Flame, or at least my redesign of True Flame, because True Flame looks a little bit goofy, on my other arm for uh, Gone Air and Teldrim. And kind of things around it that symbolize them a little bit more. But I want Duskfang somewhere too. And I'm like, where, where am I going to put Duskfang? It'd probably have to go on my leg. I only have so much me. But it's like, I want Hermaeus Mora. I want, like, moths. I want like the Morrowind logo, but all spacey. But God, it is just so expensive. And rightfully so, it's art. Art should be kind of pricey. It's, you know, it's good to support artists. It's kind of a, you know, a luxury thing anyways. So that's kind of my goal going into the new year. It's like, I gotta stop collecting so many things. I think I have enough collectibles. So I just think people with tattoos, but like, especially women with them. God tier. It is getting very dark. Oh god, I did not see the tree man. Guess we should pull out the torch. It's time. Not that it really helps a whole lot out here, but it helps a little bit. I can at least kind of see the path. However, speaking of collectibles, I did, um, I have something to show you. Me and my friend are, uh, like, huge plushy enthusiasts, and especially squishables, which if you don't know what they are, it's like that little moth I have there, and then I have that big dragon there. And they're like the plague doctor that you probably see everywhere. They make them. But they also just recently released this little moth man. And I'm obsessed with him. He can kind of like hide. He has magnets in his wings. So I can't actually seem to get it, apparently. 
I, I just, I had to get this for me and my friend, so. I just can't, I can't resist a good plushie. We'll leave him there so we can appreciate him. Because if you didn't know, moths are, um, one of my favorite animals. Probably like my second favorite. I, I always get, oh, ouch. You hit me so hard, you extinguished my torch. Oh, there's another thing, hi. I'm always the worst about choosing favorites, but you know, cats and moths, I'd say those are my top ones. So a moth that is also a man in a cryptid, pretty good, huge fan. Okay, I know something's chasing us, but I'm just gonna keep going on my stroll, pretending like nothing's happening, cause I don't actively see it. So it'll have to catch up with me. You know, I, I feel like y'all need a better view of that dragon too, cause I never showed y'all him. I've had him for a while, but. This is just going to be a plushy <laughs> appreciation video. Look at this fella. Like this is a squishable too. He's one of the bigger ones. Uh, I love that I was just like, yeah, I'm gonna tone it down with the collectibles, but here's all the plushies that I won't <laughs> stop obsessing over. Okay, look, little friends. They'll sit there for now because I don't want to get back up. This video has taken a detour and so have I. I'm no longer on the road. Oh God, I forgot you did that. Don't shoot from your butt at me, that's gross. He's pissing. I just think there's something so lovely about edgy little plushies. Like Squishable makes like really like cutesy ones too, which I do appreciate. And the moth that I have back there and also a hit. There's one on my microphone too, but you can't really see them. They're not really edgy. I just like moths, but the edgy ones they make, they're just God tier. More companies need to do this. I know Squishmallows are kind of the big thing amongst plushy enthusiasts right now, but they have nothing on Squishables. I just gotta say, are you shooting at me? Come on, man. Another tree guy. Oh, were you the guy chasing us? <laughs> Maybe so. Oh, you know, oh God, you're kind of, you're kind of tough. We do need to charge up dusk things, so. There we go. Still dramatic music, what's going on? I hear a man. What is, what is happening here? Who are you? Who are you? Ingvar Doomsayer. I'm Ingvar the Wanderer. Okay. Although most people now call me Ingvar Doomsayer. It's true. The world is about to be destroyed. You're actually probably not wrong. Some people are frightened by this, or they despair, or even try to deny the truth of what I say. But my message is actually one of comfort. The world is ending, and we can't do anything about it. Once you accept that, you'll be at peace, like me. You know, you're kind of right. Well, I can ask you about Brithar. I don't know who that is. Bye. I guess we'll be on our way, whatever. But I think we're almost there. Oh, hello. Thank you for coming. I apologize for summoning you. The blame is mine. I mean, I'm... We've lost whatever. control of Pinnacle Rock. <laughs> Sill let them in. We had no idea she would turn on us. Right. They captured our commander, Dylora, and have her imprisoned somewhere inside. Our first priority must be rescuing her. Okay, uh, where is she now? Sill had called her aside, separating her from the group. She meant to divide our numbers when order entered, making us easier targets. They imprisoned Dylora somewhere within Pinnacle Rock. If they killed her, she could return to us, so they keep her hostage. If we follow the waters of the Wellspring, we will surely find her. Okay, what kind of opposition is there? Still let them in. More than I could count. It was all we could do to fall back and regroup out here. Mm -hmm. We must free Dylora as soon as possible. She will know what to do. Right, let's go. Forgive me for saying so, Your Grace, but I find taking orders from the Duke of Mania to be unsettling. You asked for me to come here, man. You are the only remaining Duke, which is a situation quite unprecedented. Normally, you would never be permitted to pass within Pinnacle Rock. Okay, is there, like... Given the need for swift action... You didn't action, have to be rude about it. You didn't even have to mention shall that. ...shall need to be overlooked for now. We shall be right behind you, Your Grace. Yeah, whatever. Can I... Didn't need to say all that. It made me feel bad for no reason. I'm just trying to help. 
But all right, I have a feeling all of y'all are gonna die except for you because you're immune. Uh, it seems like a bunch of them already have died. Excellent. I like the purple vibes y'all have going on. Very good, very good. I do prefer the vibe of the dark seducers and whatnot, but I just love Mania. He just walked straight past me. Okay. It's like it's rude. I'm feeling a little ignored here. Oh, oh, hi. Shouldn't have put my sword up. Oh, I don't want to hit the lady. Oh, there we go. And Duskfang's thirst has been quenched. Excellent. So I guess this is what we're following here. I didn't mean- I- I thought you were one of those guys. I was trying to hit him. Why are you mad at me? I didn't mean it! At least I just got here. I guess I, uh, need to just let them fight everything or they'll assault me. Rude. I'm just a blind little man. I can't see anything. Don't get mad at me for it. Fine, y'all can handle him. I'll just get this guy. Or maybe I can just on the butt. Oh, they have another one anyway. Did I just hit him? No. Okay, you're fine. Don't get mad at me. Quick save after every fight. I probably won't actually remember that, but you know, it'd be nice if I did. Since they're a little angry about friendly fire. I guess I did, like, after combat, just kind of her, but I thought he was still up. Oh, a crystal butthole. I can peek through it. Okay. I guess they just sealed the door, kind of rude. Mm, yes, mm, either another or the same. Okay. Okay, and crystal butthole, gate we can't open. Guess we're going this way. That's probably the convenient exit over there. I also got a quick save through every big door like that because apparently it doesn't want to auto save anymore. So, if it ever did in the first place, but I thought it did. Hi. Oh, you, you swerved that one. Oh, it's already out of charge. Come on. Lame. Needs a little more. Oh! I almost hit her. She startled me. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. Well, at least you're still alive. I figured y'all would all be dead by now already. That's usually how my luck seems to go. Oh, I hit her. I hope they're not mad at me. Please don't be. We are actively in combat this time, so it should be fine. Didn't just whack her for fun. Oh, that opens something. Or does something, allegedly. There was a gate back there. I assume that's what it was. Oh, probably open this. All right. Okay. Uh. Oh, hi. Seems you are stuck within some crystal booty holes there. You must set me free. I'm trying. The barrier can't be broken by you. It's too tough. Use the chime. Ring the chime. And that may shatter it. Okay. Sure. Where's the chime? Care to share? Is it through here? No. Was it down here? What are you talking about? Oh, you know, my other arrow is probably, yes, pointing at it. That seemed to do the trick. All right, there we go. You have my thanks for freeing me, but just who are you? I am the Duke of Mania. Your grace, I am sorry. I did not realize. Eh, it's whatever, kind of new. <laughs> Sil? Have you seen her, that traitorous coward? Uh. What happened here? Syl, the snake. She showed up, asked for a contingent of guards, said there was trouble at the palace and that we were needed. We were so focused on organizing quickly that by the time we realized she'd let order in herself, it was too late. We were split up and picked off. I see. But it doesn't matter anymore. The only thing that matters now is the wellspring. We must reach it at once. And let's stop talking. <laughs> or not. I'm gonna ask you some more questions. What wellspring? What do you mean? The wellspring of the Mazkin. It's what links us to this realm where we return to the world from the waters of oblivion. I see. 
If Syl helps Order sever that link, my kind will be annihilated. The realm will be lost to us. We must get to the Wellspring and stop them. Right. I will follow your lead. The Wellspring is at the heart of Pinnacle Rock. Follow the waters to reach it. I am yours to command your grace. All right, well, I guess just we follow prevail. me then. We can go ahead and open that. Oh, I went with the door. <laughs> what? But yeah, is that just a convenient exit? We'll probably use that later. Let's <gasps> just... What? No, the wellspring. Oh. They've stopped it up. You, you must make it to the wellspring and let the waters flow. Yeah, uh... Okay, goodbye. Awesome. Nothing has happened to the wellspring, you don't say. Okay, well, I don't have my friends anymore, but at least I have this conveniently placed chime. Thanks for putting that there, lads. Really kept me out. Okay, I know I have about 50 million things on me, but I am just kind of going. And apparently so is he. <laughs> he silenced me, that's rude. I wanted to heal. Okay, good. Took care of that. Am I going the right way now? No clue. Oh, at least there's more guys to fight, so that's probably a good sign. I can still see you, man. You're not that sneaky. Mm. Our charge, I miss it. Every time it disappears. Yep, yep, that is all dried up. Well, mm -hmm. that sucks. Nice little attention to detail, though. Okay, that seems to be the right door. What? Where are you going, man? <laughs> Come on. Ooh, okay, this is looking a little important. Yep. I've located the wellspring of the Mazkin. It's been covered in order crystals. I'll need to destroy them to restore the wellspring. Right. Are there any conveniently placed chimes? Hmm? That would be very handy. There's at least- oh, there are chimes! <laughs> I'm so glad they put those up. The one way to thwart them. Maybe that's also how they have to set it up. I don't know. Oh my god, they are- they have me surrounded. Go ahead and, uh... Take some of those healing potions. <sighs> I just keep getting staggered! Just dreadful. Ooh, okay, there we go. Power attacks on them. Man! Rude. Okay. Ring that chime. That probably did something. Did it shatter a little? I think it did. Ugh! Okay, now I assume there are just some in the different corners that I need to ring. One up here. Hmm. Alright. And then I assume a last one over here. Hopefully. Unless if I need to do it a little bit faster. I really don't know. Oh, yep, I guess I did. Okay! That seems to have worked! I need to speak with Delora, if she still exists, which I guess she does. I am yours oh, to seems they caught up already. Wow. Where, where is she? I am yours there we go. The wellspring is restored. That it is. You saved us. We are forever grateful, your grace. Please, allow me to teach you this spell, so that you may summon our kind to you in times of need. Sure, I'll forget I have also, it, but... Also, accept this gift of armor. It is the least I can do to show thanks for your help. We are still wearing our goofy little robes, aren't we? What happens now? Our warriors will scour the halls of Pinnacle Rock, removing any last elements of opposition. Then, we will immediately return to our duties. What about Syl? No sign of her yet. We'll do our best to track her down and deliver her to Lord Sheagorth for a fitting punishment. Wonderful. The traitor must be brought to justice. Then I shall take my leave. Indeed. Lord Sheagorath will be anxious to hear of your victory, I am sure. I bet. 
All right, well, the day is saved. Now I just have to figure out how to get out of here. <laughs> Convenient exit? Oh, ooh, we got Dark Seducer armor. We gotta put that on. Oh yeah, we're looking great. You know what? We'll wear it, why not? <laughs> Come on, convenient exit. Oh yes, beautiful. I think we still have a bit to go. <laughs> but it seems like they're kind of lined up to get out fairly easy. Oh, I went with it again. <laughs> I was whisked away. Oh no, a convenient exit. I thought we'd be going through there. Where am I going? Not that way. Oh God. <laughs> I've gotten lost. Okay, I think it might be this way. Okay, there we go. We have found our way out. So I guess let's go ahead and go back to Sheagorath. Looking like that. Mm, tits out, great. All right, let's see what problem arises now. Time. Time is an artificial construct. Probably an that. An system based on the idea that Events occur in a linear direction at all times. I'm so uncomfortable. <laughs> Always forward, never back. Is the concept of time correct? Is time relevant? It matters not. One way or another, I fear that our time has run out. That's not good. As I feared it would, my plan has failed. The Grey March is upon us, and I must go. I thought we had more time. I thought we had a chance. My plan has failed and we were so close. What happens now? What happens is what always has happened. What always will happen. I crumble. I fade. The realm dies. And you with it. Disturbing. Flee while you can, mortal. When we next meet, I will not know you, and I will slay you like the others. But we haven't failed. I think we kind of have. Optimism! Ah, oh, 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 how adorable. Yeah. I love it! Even at the end, you make me laugh. <laughs> I'm lying. That wasn't funny at all. Oh. No matter. Soon you and everyone else will be dead, and I will be left a mad god, ruler of a dead realm, again. Oh, what can I do? I had intended to give you my staff, the symbol of my office, but life is gone from it as it goes from me. It is now dead wood, a useless twig. With the staff, there was hope. But now, hope is dead. I am dead. The realm. <laughs> the realm is dead! Hey, uh, Haskell. Say you gonna gonna is dead. Do what you think about that? No? All okay. shall crumble before Bye. <laughs> Shugarth has vanished before we could complete the plan to stop the forces of order. Perhaps Haskell will know what steps we should take. Yeah, hey. Uh... To be honest, I think that's all that we have time for in Always this episode. <laughs> and there's Don Feng Superior. Great. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave it a like. Maybe consider supporting my coffee or Patreon if you want to help out the channel. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.